So first thing I want to know, I want to know who you guys are. How many of you like to travel? Put your hands. Nice, nice. How many of you have ever booked a trip online? All right. For you guys, your new year is about to get a whole lot better. For the rest of you, it still is, but you just don't know it yet. All right. So um, here's why it's going to get better. We're waysavvy.com. I'm Michael Raymond, one of the co-founders, and we help you find and book your perfect trip in two minutes. So let's take a look at how that works. So let's say tonight, for some reason, we want to book a trip from Boston to San Francisco and LA. You might have more options that you want to choose from, but I'll leave them on default for now. So all you do from here is you click search. And so our algorithm is off to the races now, trying to analyze about a thousand of hotels and flights that are available to you on this trip, trying to figure out which ones are the best for you. If you did a similar search on Expedia right now, your results set for just one of these hotels would look something like that, and you would be going through that manually. That's not something you want to do today. Now, I want you to notice this is page one of 13. Most of these you don't need. In the meantime, what we got back here is we have a complete optimal itinerary for you, which includes all of your flights, all of your hotels in one place. You have three budget settings to choose from. You can choose the most luxurious one, also called Swankiest. Yes. You can choose the cheapest one or the one that's most value-centric. You can, of course, look up details on any particular hotel if you want to know more about it, such as you know, pictures, map, and pretty much all the other relevant info. But the really big bottom line is that from here, you can, oh, whoops. Well, we can we come with another tab, don't we? Oh, no. Technical issues. Well, what you saw there was about to click book, and you were going to book that trip right there in about two minutes. Um, the same trip, if you were using Expedia, Kayak, or with any other number of our competitors, would probably take you about 10 times the time that we just spent. All right, so we are going to be doing demos at our table in the Innovation Hall. I want you to do two things. Tomorrow morning, you open up your computer, your PDA, your Verizon, iPhone, whatever it is. Make sure you tweet about us. We're at WaySave on Twitter if you like the pitch, if you like our private demo. Second thing I want you to do is stop by our table. We're going to give you one of these delicious organic Oreos. You don't want to miss them. So, <laughs> so with that, I want to know what, what questions you guys have, and make sure you stop by our table. Yes, ma'am. Love it. I hate booking trips, but love going Thank on. you. But what are you doing now with all these airlines? Southwest has always been this way, but all these airlines that are changing the way they do it and might start moving towards Southwest and saying you can only book through our website. We have a very flexible back end that can work with any number of providers. And in fact, we are going to integrate with a lot of providers directly. Um, there is a lot of hype right now about you know price wars between airlines and distribution systems. A lot of that is just that hype. Uh, it's you know price wars where, where somebody's trying to get more control over price. In the long term, that's not going to really affect us. Other questions? Yep. Hi, just kind of bouncing off what she's talking talk about. Sure. Um, I have actually found that the kayak.com is a good site because it's a lot better than Expedia or. or uh, uh, yeah, sure. It's whatever. Yeah. Um, so, uh, are you just? Uh, I feel like I don't tell from the spinal tap here. Are you like one level further on just bringing in more? more We're more like ten levels level further, further, but you have the right idea. What's so, the main, the yeah. Difference? And the other thing is, uh, are you planning on convincing the other companies like uh, Southwest how advantageous it is for them to be in that pool? I think so. I mean, I think we're planning to convince. Uh, you know, both suppliers, potential content, content aggregators, distributors, and of course, at the end of the day, consumers, that booking travel for us is much more convenient than browsing through endless walls of text across 13 pages of a particular website just to find one flight, when in reality, most of those flights are going to be completely irrelevant for your trip, regardless of what your preferences are. You do not want to be on an eight-hour late over in the middle of the night. You know, you don't, you don't want a hotel that charges, you know, $500, $500 a night for three stars and things like that. Do you have uh, algorithms to, I mean, the swankiest? I mean, are, are you pulling from Michelin to determine the swanky ratio, or, um, I mean? Well, well, that particular one comes partially from Mobile Guide. Okay. 
but yes, we are pulling a lot, pull, pulling in a lot of data. We have the proprietary algorithm that analyzes it. We're looking at price, location, quality. We're looking at a, a whole bunch of factors. And the other thing, I, I know some of the travel sites have distance locators. When you write LA and San Francisco, LA is a big city. I yeah. mean, you might have me over here, and uh, I want to be over here. So how do you handle that? Um, so for now, uh, you can you can select the landmark, and we'll push you near that landmark. Pretty soon, you're going to be able to select the zip code or maybe even a particular conference. Cool. Uh, just in order for a business model to work, you still have to go through somebody to actually collect payments from the hotels. Those are the same people that control the engines that you're competing with. I mean, we are probably initially going to be engaged in some both partnership and competitive relationships, but ultimately we want to innovate the point of sale. We have the capability already to collect your credit card and securely process your transaction. All we have to do is partner with someone to actually do fulfillment. But at the end of the day, you know, we, our technology is going to support being the merchant record. How have you funded yourself thus far with the beta site and what are your plans moving forward? Uh, completely self-bootstrapped funded. We're open to all conversations. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to actually move on to the uh, next one.